Hey, what's up, mad lads and lasses? G Smash here. Welcome back to Metroid Dread. Um, I do believe I made a mistake. An honest one at that. Um, so, I took the teleporter a little too early. Um, and I say that because the Pariah Suit power up, which is the next power up we have to get, is back in. Arteria. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I. So, I made an honest mistake, and so we gotta go back to Arteria. Oh, no, okay. That's just a messenger notification. I don't think I'd want to do that. Okay. So... Oh. So we get ourselves an energy tank here, and we're going to climb up to the right. Take this a little more claw track. Yes, this looks familiar. Ah! Dang it. Alright, well at least we're not far from where we started. I looked up a walkthrough this morning. I mean, this is not a blind playthrough, as you know. I learned to fuck with that kind of stuff. So... I actually decided to look up a walkthrough. I'm not actually gonna save because that energy tank. And uh, maybe on second thought, I should have uh, used the refill refuel station above the teleporter. Alright. 
So this green door is a place we will visit later. Get this big guy out of here. Kind of looks like the security robot from Fusion. I might do Metroid Fusion after I complete Dread. I tell you what, Metroid Fusion is absolutely one of my favorite games. I remember the first time I played it was back in 2005. Or was it 06? I, I know I got the game in early 2006. This is not good. This is not gonna be good. Oh crap, dude. Come on! You gotta get out of here, man! Oh god. Oh crap. No, 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 no. this is not good. Okay. That was that is a really hard segment there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Believe in yourself, Colin. Believe in yourself. Yeah, this freaked me out the first time I played through this. Wish me luck. Get up there. No, no, move, move. Move, move. Oh no, roadblock. Double roadblock. Jeez. Jeez, dude. What the frick? What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, that was chaotic. Oh, man. But, uh, hey. Could this be what I think it is? Why? What is this? The Varia suit. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We did it. This is the power up that will allow us to get to the uh, uh, the hot areas, <laughs> the temperate areas, I should say, in uh, hot and cold actually areas uh, of uh, ZDR. All right. Well, 
Wow. I, I got major goosebumps after that little incident. Oh my gosh. Like, you have no idea, dude. Aha, here we go. Ignore these guys. Oh man. Yeah, that burning area was like an episode of Star Trek. Like, right when the time, like, uh, uh, Star Trek Generations, for instance, it was kind of reminding me of the time when the Enterprise crashed and Data was like, oh, shit. So, that's exactly what I was feeling. I feel your pain, Data. By the way, my favorite Star Trek series is either, it's, it's like, it's gotta be the one in the 90s, you know, it's either Voyager or DS9 or Next Generation. Enterprise was okay. Come on, get over there. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, Enterprise was okay, um, but, you know, DS9 and TNG, especially TNG. And the Captain Kirk movie is really good too. Oh. Uh, huh? Nope. You must have already been through here, so we must have to backtrack. going the wrong way. I'm going around in circles again. I do apologize for that. Uh, so. Alright, where is that teleporter? We need to get back. I have a feeling we need to return to that teleporter so that we can uh, go back to Catarus. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Up. Guys, I took a, as you saw by my community post, or, I don't know, did you? Um, I have taken, I took a break from content creation last week. I have been spreading myself too thin between work and my other obligations, and of course uh, the CIP site. And they cut my damn hours again at work. I mean, business is pretty slow, so I guess that's natural. Makes sense that they did. So let's see, where do we need to go? There's a door down in the lower part of the uh, area here. So let's see if we can utilize it. Stupid 
birds. Or whatever you are. Honestly, what are those things? Um. Yes. Okay, this looks like where we need to go. Well, at least now we can take the now we take the teleporter back to Cataris. So you know, when I was at Colorado Center for the Blind, their main um, mantra was structure and discovery. That was for you know learning about new places to go and learning about. Rail. But I think it could be but I think it can be applied to gaming too. With open world games you have to discover their structure, for instance. And same with Metroid Grid. It's all about structure discovery. So you can know where to go. Alright, there we go. Now that we have the proper power off, we can go further. That'll be all the time I have for this episode of Metroid Dread. More Mario Kart 8 stuff is coming around the bend. Oh, and hey, I wanted to tell you something in regards to that. Um, Alright, so... I have decided to do something pretty fun with the uh, highlights. You know how after the end of every race, I show, out, I show off highlights, right? So, um... I will be doing that. Like, for instance, so uh, one highlight reel I could be like a like a guy giving the traffic report on the news. The other I could be like a documentary commentator. Just 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 kind of improvisational stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This is your humble host, G Smash. Keep calm, game on, and I'll see you next time.